Hey everyone, myself Diksha Shandile from Biotechnica. I hope you all are going doing good. And today we'll be discussing about how to grow faster in the biotech career, especially in India. So if you are a biotechnology graduate, if you have done your own graduation, masters, B Tech, M Tech in biotechnology, or even your PhD in biotechnology, you are seeking for job opportunities. Then this video will help you. This video will help you in grabbing those opportunities and understanding how to fasten your career drive, how to approach your career in a particular successful way especially if you are thinking of being settled in India. So let's get started. So basically the first thing that once, once we talk about being settled, once we talk about career, so the first thing that comes in our mind is stability. Okay, so you have to be stable, be it India, be it abroad, you should be stable. You should be stable in your career, you should learn from your career, you should be deeply passionate towards your career. And this stability, passion for your career will come with experience, it will come with age, it will come with your devotion. So if you are not devoted and if you're expecting to be to have the best in your career if you're expecting that you will bloom in your career it won't happen so you have to be really passionate about yourself you have to be passionate about the subject and then only you will progress so let's get started so firstly in order to achieve the great heights in order to achieve the hallmarks the great opportunities in the field of biotech sector you have to be passionate and then we'll start with the first point the first tip that you can follow so as to better your career goal to better your personality to better your approach opportunity in the field of bio biosciences as well as biotechnology the first thing is you should build a strong foundation so biotech industries research sectors they work on building a stronger foundation so if you have been laid with a strong foundation you have that USP to be hired to be to be to be helped uh, by them so they will definitely take you they will definitely understand you even if you are working in a biotech film or you are working we are working in a research sector so you should have that USP you should have the foundation laid inside you which is making you a better employee so the first thing that you should always do is you should keep on <clears throat> You're building a strong foundation, you should keep on impro improving your resume framework. Improving your resume framework means that you should always do something, some activities, some uh, short term goals, you should always approach so as to, you know, build yourself, uh, your career better to, uh, so as to be more skilled in the sector where you are. And the second thing is you should keep your knowledge up to date. You should always keep your knowledge up to date. If you're talking about biotech, if you're talking about science, you should always be up to date with all the trends, all the techniques, all the research work that is happening. Your mind should always refresh. Your mind should always think of the recent advancement that is happening. You should not get stuck on the previous data. You should be up to date with the knowledge. So even if you are sitting with your colleagues, they should know that you have a strong foundation upon the subject. You have a better grip upon the subject and you are really a better person because you have they are learning something from you you have that or like or the, the uh, so they will learn from you this is the thing that you can they, they'll find in you then the know about the recent trends and technologies so in order to keep your knowledge up to date you should always know about the recent trends advancement technologies that are being in the market that are coming in the market that are upcoming in the market you should know about each one of them and then you can participate in group discussion you know participating in group discussion will help you in building your knowledge and apprehension because you are sitting with those people who have at least some maybe some knowledge better than you some will have not some, something new to learn of from so all of us are unique so basically if you're learning from each one of uh, like if you're sitting with 12 people you are getting some small gist of knowledge from each one of the person each one of them so basically you are learning so in order to learn you should sit and you know talk if you're talking with the people if you're talking having a group discussion then only you are trying you are advancing your knowledge you are advancing your mindset because you are dealing with different people coming from different domains sitting together getting merged and then talking about some common topic so your ability your ability to learn your ab ab ability to you know uh, understand the uh, logics will develop so your uh, logical aptitude will develop if you are handling and if you are participating in group discussions the next one is you should network and reconnect 
Now again, if you are working, you should reconnect. You should build a network. If you want to grow, so you can't grow alone. You have to take people with you. You have to learn from people. You have to learn from your mistakes. That's how you will grow. And when you see back, you will realize that in this, in this long journey, many people helped you in growth. So you're not alone. You're alone in your uh, success story, but there are many other people who, has, who are helping you in building those the, that success that you are achieving. So basically, that is because of the networking. That is because of people around you that is helping you. That uh, those people who are helping you. So you should build a strong connection. You should build strong connections uh, with the people suppose that the professors are from your institution scientists the employees of the company you have to talk you have to understand you have to uh, with the seniors you have to understand how the work is going in the biotech firm how it is going in the research sector because they are experienced than you so you are learning so you are building a connection you're getting new opportunities then you reconnect with the people from your past colleague school now we say that we are always learn from the professors and seniors. No, you are. You can always learn from your even your juniors. You can learn from your colleagues. You can learn from your juniors. You can learn from a person who was there with you in the standard tenth. You 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 don't know what person whom will come to you in your life and whom who will give you what lesson. So you should always learn. You should always learn the positive aspect, the positive thing. You should gra grasp the positive thing from the people who are with you because everyone is unique and they have they will definitely have some positive attitude that you can inherit in yourself that you can take in yourself imbibe in yourself so that you can be a better person so networking will help you in reconnection it will help you in building connections uh, reconnecting with uh, your uh, previous uh, colleagues then you have to talk regularly so you know you, if you are talking regularly with the mentor employee from the academic or biotechnology company so basically they are teaching you they are giving you the experience the skills they are basically telling you about how uh, the, the work is going and how you know you can improve yourself. So basically you are getting some tips and tricks. So if you are talking to them regularly, you are and you are trying, you are not under, uh, underestimating your loopholes. You are trying to surpass them and you are get, get coming with a better you know opportunity and being a better person. The next one is you should attend. So basically if you are trying to build a network it won't come with only with linkedin and your colleagues so you can you know participate you can participate in conferences you can participate in seminars you can uh, participate in group discussions so if you are participating you can go for a talk so you are getting new pop people uh, you are knowing new people so you are building a connection with all those new people that you know that you accidentally meet or you uh, you have went to you know listen to them so you are gaining a knowledge and these knowledge that you are getting from those people is helping you in building a strong foundation the next one is expose yourself to new opportunities exposing yourself to new opportunities means coming out of the comfort zone from your bubble from the shield and then exposing yourself to newer things to the new opportunities that is coming in the biotech sector so firstly that you should explore new opportunities and areas of research you should always explore you should explore and expose yourself to the new opportunity that might come in your life that that is coming in the biotech industry that is coming in the research sector so you shouldn't sit in the comfort zone and you should you know keep yourself shielded and not allowing you to get exposed and learn then you should assist in exploring new products. Let's say if you are, um, suppose that uh, you are developing something new. So you are having your contribution. So you are learning. You are learning something novel. You are learning something infinite. You don't know. You, you are learning something which is giving contribution to the scientific society. So basically you should always assist in some novel uh, technologies in developing some, you know, new year products. So if you are developing new products if you are you know uh, contributing yourself into novel things then your mindset is being you know your mindset is getting improved so you have to do it in order to improve your skills you in order to improve your troubleshooting experience then you should stay inquisitive and curious this is a uh, straight point you have to be inquisitive and curious because if you're not inquisitive and curious you can't learn you have to always ask you have to always think and imagine and then only you can come to a conclusion so it's better it's best and it's always necessary to be inquisitive and curious the next one is you should always be ready to take newer roles or perform newer duties again 
if let's say you are in one department if you have been given an opportunity to work in another department don't think you are in a comfort zone and you don't want to work you don't know if you are working in collaboration you're learning something you knew that experience you are getting is amazing and if you are getting that experience you are probably getting better in your own career profile so you should always you should always be ready to you know grab those opportunities those new roles and duties then you should be curious and you should keep keep learning so again the, the point that we discussed i am elaborating that point that you should be always stay curious staying inquisitive and curious will help you in learning in developing a strong will power towards learning new things so you should be inquisitive in exploring new ideas and thoughts because your thought process will develop then you should develop the tendency to learn from everything around it shouldn't be like that you are learning from only books only from the chapters the research papers no you should learn from everything around you should even learn from uh, from the nature because you don't know uh, what all good things you are getting from the nature so if you are learning from the nature if you are learning from the calmness of the sea if you are learning from the you know chopping of a bird if you are learning from the <coughs> Uh, from uh, you know rodent species let's say like uh, the like nocturnals so learning something you are learning their own behavior you are learning their own pattern so you are learning their life you are understanding that how an organism work how ecosystem works so you are definitely learning something you are you are getting a better person because your understanding capability or your uh, your understanding capability towards your mindfulness is getting better so basically you are developing the tendency to learn from everything around so that you can even apply it to the research well, your research work or your career so it's not like that you can't even learn even from the non living things you don't know you have to learn you have to learn from the best you have to get the best out of everything so you should always develop the tendency to learn from everything around you okay then you should be relaxed calm and patient especially if you shouldn't burden yourself with the thoughts you shouldn't burden yourself with the knowledge you should be relaxed calm patient and you should avoid freaking out you should avoid dogmatism you should avoid being perfect you shouldn't do that you should be relaxed calm and patient and hold your knowledge and you should be a inquisitive learner you should be always you know in a positive attitude you shouldn't think about negative thought process any negative thought process shouldn't come in your mind because it will kill it will kill your uh, you know it will kill your mindfulness it will kill you as a person it will kill your moral values so you have to always be positive staying positive means that you will be always getting you are always getting a good opportunity and you are always embracing that so you should have the tendency to embrace rather than a tendency to discard you should always embrace everything around and you should not have any negative process because eventually if you are having a negative process you are getting not only down in your career but as a human too now the next thing is you should be passionate and dedicated you know staying passionate and dedicated is very much important because you know long term achievement long term goal cannot be especially in biotech uh, sector where there is a lot of challenges and opportunities you have to be passionate you have to be dedicated about everything you shouldn't be you know motivated for one week and demotivated for the next month this is not not how a long term career will go especially in the biotech field so if you are a life science student if you are you know trying to build a career the career of you know the idea of rehabilitation the idea of being compassionate uh, compassionate the compassion is important so you should always stay committed to your work you should always be passionate staying committed to your work and doing your work on time is really important you should learn to respect your knowledge and work if you are not respecting your knowledge if you are not respecting your work if you are not respecting your work area then you will never succeed because the best part is not to become a you know the most wise person the most knowledgeable person no the idea is to become a most knowledgeable person with a good heart okay so you have to always respect because one you know when you don't know when uh, anything will backfire you if you are not being respectful then the work will not be al also respectful to you so there there should be mutual cooperation you should respect your work and the work will respect you back then you shouldn't procrastinate again you should not delay your work you should always do it on time you should be punctual you shouldn't procrastinate and you should strive uh, to make a positive impact so wherever you go you should make a positive imp impact no matter how many negative people are there you should make a positive impact what you are making a change is important not what uh, what others are imbibing into you so if you are single person if you are enough to you know make a change in everyone then if even if you had 
lot of setbacks in your career, then you are a successful person. This is the gist of the story. So basically, you should strive to make a positive impact. Okay. So these things are not important, you know, for an employee, for a uh, person who is trying to build a career in biotech profile. It's also important for you to build, uh, to become a person who is getting knowledgeable, who is getting, you know, chances to do better in career. So it's always better to first know about yourself, first know about your limitation, know about your work, compassionate towards your work, build a strong career profile, build a strong networking, build a strong a strong resume, have a good heart, and then you help others to have a positive impact. If you have these qualities, you can definitely succeed no matter where you go. I hope you have liked this video. Thank you so much for watching.